How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's vlog, I'm gonna be answering a viewer's question that they asked me to do a video on an OmniLogic and adding a heater uh, to the actual OmniLogic. They just purchased it, or from what I understand, they have a heater, it's all wired up, and they don't know how to go through the settings to add the heater to the OmniLogic so they can run it from the app. So on today's vlog, we're gonna be doing just like that to show you how you can actually set up a heater and program it to your Omni Logic. Keep watching. All right, so here we are back again at the panel. You want to go ahead and scroll over and hit your config, find your config, okay? Hit your config, go ahead and hit your config wizard. And then if you already have a program already set up, you're gonna, you don't want to add a new one, you want to edit the current one that you have. So go ahead and press edit and then press over. Okay, then up here where it says bodies of water, you're gonna be selecting bodies of water. Okay, go ahead and select the pool side. When you get here, if you have a pool in the spa, if it's already pre-set up for a pool in the spa, and you're gonna be setting up a heater, set it up on the pool side. Okay, now under here, you're gonna have these selections here. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna press heaters. Okay, and then you're gonna add a heater. Okay, and then you're gonna select what type you have. If you have a gas, a heat pump, or a solar, go ahead and select that. Let's say heat pump. We're gonna scroll over. Gonna name it and leave it like that, heat pump. Which relay? Now, wherever that you wired it into the relay, and your relay basically is uh, inside, you have your relays here. I'm not gonna take the panel apart, but you're gonna uh, select the uh, relay where you have it wired up to so you're going to select there let's say we selected that and then these are the the device names LVR 1 2 3 4 HVR so you're going to go in and select that and then keep, and then keep going with it uh, I don't want to go over what I already previously had so I'm going to back out I'm going to back out because I don't want to change what we currently have here So we backed out and I went back to our actual one. And once it's selected onto the, the relay that you currently have, you're going to select that. And then you can go ahead and you can back out. Um, then in here on the heat pump, you may have all these other uh, settings here. You can set a minimal filter speed. We have a set at 56% of the total production, uh, I mean circulation power of the pump. And then you have your name, your type, that's the type of heater that we have set up. Uh, you have the relay, you can add a valve if you have a valve. No, we don't have a valve. Uh, that's an automatic valve that would allow water to circulate to your heat pump. Uh, and then your minimum air temperature and then your priority duration. Uh, we have 24 hours. This is where you can set it up if you want a, to heat your pump for 24 hours. To, for a pool party or whatever, you can set it up for 12 hours, 24 hours. You can go ahead and you can set it up there. So that's basically how you can add a heater uh, to your Hayward Omni Logic. Let's go into the general heater options, see what's in here. Here is where you can actually set up if you want an extended time, a cool down temperature, a max temperature. If you want to set a max temperature here, if you don't want it at 104, uh, you can slide the bar up and down the uh, bar right here. And then you can set your cool down. If you want to cool down, we don't want to cool down. We just want it to shut off when we say shut off. If you do select the cool down, it may stay on running for about uh, three to five minutes while it does a cool down cycle. Uh, and then your heater extended time, obviously we selected yes. And then that'll extend the time further than what the operation is set for. So this is how you can add a heater to your Hayward Omni Logic. So thank you so much. I'm gonna just back out of everything. Thanks again for watching this video on, uh, hopefully this answered our viewers question on how to add uh, a heater to your OmniLogic. Now, once you add everything into the 
to the main panel here. Now you can go ahead and get on your app and then that new selection, if you set up everything right and you wired it everything correctly, you should be able to function everything through your app. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my page. Put your comments down below. Once again, another Hayward OmniLogic video for you guys. Hey guys, I just wanted to add this really quickly into here. For all my viewers out there, all my people who are subscribed to our channel, all the for the non-subscribers to our channel, please hit the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, and put your comments down below on any video that you like or anything related to a video that we have posted. Ask questions, ask me questions, and I'll be more than happy to do a video for you or to reply to any one of your comments or questions because this is the way that we're gonna help you guys are gonna help me build out this channel to bring you guys more value so that I'm able to keep doing these videos, to keep uh, showing, bringing you guys a lot of education uh, regarding a lot of uh, different pool equipments and pool related uh, aspects that a lot of people don't wanna share. You know, they wanna give these uh, very blase quick to the throw I want to help you guys out help me out at the same time by uh, you know let this let's have a dialogue and you guys are gonna help me just as much as I'm helping you guys out uh, you guys are gonna help me as well so all that I ask is be respectful put your comments down below bring me uh, some of your questions if you want to do a, a certain specific type of video regarding an issue that you're having I have no problem if, if, as long as I have the time to do it. And um, as we're building this channel, I'm building my company and I have more time to do more videos for you guys, I'm bringing the value. So just put your comments down below, subscribe to my channel, and that way I can help you guys out. And in the same turn, you guys are helping me out, okay? So let's keep it going, keep it moving forward. Thank you so much.